So I'm currently working on a video for this weekend where I'm doing some testy stuff with some fans. And I'm getting ready to upgrade this test bench's hard drive. And I figured you guys might find this useful, so I decided I'd make a little video real quick on how to do it. So basically, I'm going to take this hard drive that I'm running this test bench on, which is basically from a laptop, and I'm going to upgrade it to this SSD uh, just to make my life a little easier. So all you really need to do this is the hard drive you're going to be going to, an extra SATA cable, um, the hard drive that you want all your information copied from, which is going to probably be hooked up in your computer already, but mine's on a test bench, so I'll hook this back up along with this new hard drive. We'll open up Windows and then we're going to download a free software that's going to enable us to clone this hard drive to this hard drive so we don't lose any of our data, and it's, it's pretty straightforward, so uh, let me set everything back up. So now I got both drives hooked up, and the first thing you're going to need to do is download this software, which is Macrium Reflect. And uh, I'll leave the link down below. It's basically going to be macrium.com backslash reflect free and just use that software to clone it. So I got both drives hooked up. We're going to we'll download that. And then the next step is just open up the software and you're going to see that it's going to show the drive that you're currently using as your boot drive. And then down here you see I now have this Kingston SSD that has nothing on it. So what we're going to do is make sure everything is checked. Hit clone disk. It's going to ask uh, where do you want to clone this to. We're going to select a disk to clone to and then select the Kingston. Make sure we have everything checked. Next, next, next. Then click OK and everything will start to clone to your new SSD. And then when it's done, we can shut everything down, remove the old hard drive, and then just leave the SSD installed and boot back up. And it should boot right into Windows like nothing's ever changed. The only thing you might need to do is that if you get a failed to boot, you might have to go into your BIOS and change your boot priority to your new uh, SSD if it's still trying to find the old high hard drive. But that might be the only thing you need to do. So the clone is complete, and if we did everything correct, this should automatically boot now. If we turn this off and take the old hard drive away and just boot up with a solid state drive, everything should work. Should. Huzzah! So much quicker. So much better than uh, this little guy. So there you go. We're back in. Log in, and everything is exactly how it was when it was on this old mechanical hard drive. Except for now we don't have to wait an hour when we uh, want to do things. So. There you go. And if you're interested in what I'm doing here with all these fans, uh, make sure to check that video out as uh, that's what I'll be working on next. So thanks for watching.